Welcome back to the VPIN channel. In this video, we're going to teach you how to add tags for your VPINs. But first, why is tagging important? On VPIN, the viewers of a video can add tags. However, on all of the native video platforms that exist now, such as YouTube and TikTok, it is only the creators that can add tags. With that said, the viewer of a video on any of these platforms could make it easier to find a video than the creator of the video. Secondly, you may have hundreds of videos across eight different platforms that you want to save. If you appropriately tag these videos on VPIN, then it becomes easy for you to recall, copy, and share the videos with your friends in a matter of seconds. The first option that we have is to use AI to add tags to the video. However, maybe you aren't satisfied with the tags that you see now and you would like to add more. We can do that as well here. I skimmed through this video prior to shooting and I have decided to add various tags for all kinds of breeds of puppies as well as relevant tags to the video. This makes it easier for people to find your videos on VPIN. And by the way, this can also be done on the mobile version of our application. We want to take a moment to demonstrate that all of the tags we added to our last VPIN can also optionally be carried into this new VPIN that we have here. Please note that even though none of these tags actually apply to this new VPIN of a sleeping dog, we are selecting them for demonstration purposes and nothing more. However, since none of these tags are actually relevant to the video of the sleeping dog that I have here, I can also deselect them by clicking on all of them once again. Once you have your desired changes, you can simply click on the save button and all of the tag settings will be saved. Now let's demonstrate how to use tag presets. First, we're going to select any VPIN that is available to us in MySpace. And as you can see, we already have these tags from a previous VPIN that we added tags for. But after we click the edit tags button, we get taken to a completely new menu. Here, I am going to make a new tag preset and I am going to call it Big Dogs. And now I am going to name various breeds of large dogs here and I'm going to hit enter each time I name a breed of a large dog. Once I hit enter, these will immediately become new and usable tags. Okay, I think I'm done naming large dog breeds. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a page here, which is also going to allow me to create a new set of tag presets. This one I've named small dogs appropriately, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did just a few moments ago, but for small dog breeds. Now in both lists of my tag presets, I did make a mistake. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to edit the names of the tag presets lists that I just made. So I've just finished making two lists of tag presets and now I think would be a good time to demonstrate how they work. This is the video that I had before the VPIN that I had before, but as you can see, it has a bunch of tags that I applied to it previously. You can see that I have the ability to choose either of the tag preset lists that I already created when I was editing tags a few minutes ago. But let's go to a VPIN that I haven't added any tags to just yet. As you can see, I can load both of the tags preset lists that I created and I can select any of the tags that I think apply to this video. And if we look above the preset lists, you can see tags that I previously used for another VPIN. We hope this video has been helpful. Please consider subscribing for more educational content that teaches you how to use VPIN in the future.